Hi guys, so today's video is going to be the ultimate smackdown between the world famous, uh, I mean the world famous beauty blender and the equally famous Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush. Well, uh, if you are aware of the beauty industry and the makeup industry of the whole wide world you might be knowing that these two uh, makeup tools are like the i don't know they are like the holy grail products when it comes to foundation and today i'm just going to use both of them and i'm going to tell you guys uh, which one works better and why and how and all the other details so i'm just going to take this foundation and i have already prepped my skin with a moisturizer for this i'm not going to use a primer and uh, well one of my friend told me that uh, she's having some difficulties um, with some words that i use in my videos um, i think some uh, technical makeup related words so i just wanted to explain you guys what a primer is but i made a whole video on the primers so you can just link uh, you can just find the link somewhere here um, but I don't want to waste too much time talking about primers, but basically it's just something uh, we use as a base for the foundation for long staying and flawless look. Um, I just want to test it without a primer because um, if it works with primer, without primer, it will obviously work with primer as well. So I'm just going to take this Lotus Eco Stay Nourishing Foundation because it's the uh, it's the best I can get in the Indian drugstore brand. I'm just going to shake it well. I'm going to go in with this brush first. Let me grab my mirror and come. I'm using this uh, brush on the right side of my skin. I wanted a talk through and not the voiceover because I wanted you all to know what I really feel because sometimes during the uh, voiceovers we tend to miss out on a lot of information. I'm just going for a sheer uh, coverage, not much. I'll be skipping the concealer and everything because I want the best out of these uh, both. So I have used this brush. Now on the other side, I'm going to use the beauty blender. Let's see how that works out. I don't want to look like a two different mask face. So, I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm going to go to my work after this. This definitely is working differently on the beauty blender side. I'm being really careful not to mix up both the things because this area is totally the brush side and this area is, and this area is beauty blender side. Uh, whenever we use beauty blender you have to make sure that it's wet you just have to put this under the tap and squeeze out a little bit so that uh, the size actually doubles up and then you have to use it because it's always advisable to use it dry uh, I mean use it wet sorry you have to use this wet the dry beauty blender doesn't work I know a lot of girls actually use it dry but that's not a correct way to use it I definitely think that this side looks more luminous because the beauty blender is obviously wet and it gives a more luminous effect but let's see I'm just going to dab on some setting powder it's more orangey in color but we need some matte effect because I have a relatively oily skin Alright, so I'm heading out now for work and I'll be back in like 10 to 11 hours time span and I will let you know guys how it worked for me and which side was better or if both are amazing or whatever I 
find this to be and i'll see you guys in some time then hey guys okay so it's 4 15 am i was gone for um a good 11 hours and i can see my makeup um in the viewfinder i feel that it's uh, faded a little bit but the foundation actually stayed i'm just a bit oily and drained out but you can see that it pretty much looks the same on both sides and even in the mirror if i look at it uh well the only thing i noticed is that while applying the foundation uh this side the beauty blender side was a bit dewy and the sigma one was not because obviously the beauty blender was wet and uh, even after consulting and asking out a lot of people, even they couldn't see the difference. Um, the only thing I noticed is that in dim light, the brush version was a bit darker as compared to the Beauty Blender one. But all in all, it actually looks the same. It's exactly the same thing. Um, I couldn't even make it out myself if uh, somebody else did my makeup and told me to identify uh, which one was the Beauty Blender side or which one is the sigma brush side because it exactly looks the same uh, you can just see look at the foundation on my face you, you can't make out because both the sides look the same and obviously i'm much oily right now and um it's not exactly perfect i should have used the primer but um, i wanted to use it without the primer and wanted to get the best out of it so so guys, this is what I found out that these two beauties over here, they are exactly alike and nothing can beat them. But um, one product is not going to beat the other. They both are exactly the same and does the same job, gives you a flawless foundation finish. And even if you have even one thing, I think uh, your makeup collection and makeup tools collection is... Um, complete because these two things are absolutely the bomb i i love these two products and i guess everyone who loves makeup should try out at least one product in their life because a uh, foundation is such a difficult job i mean you really can't use your uh, hands all the time because it's just too messy um but sometimes hands also work because of the warmth of your hands uh, and your skin it works but for heavy foundations and etc you really need a good makeup tool in order to get the best of the product and sometimes if uh, even if you're using the best of the brands the uh, really high priced high end uh, product and just because you do not have the right tool um, you don't get to use uh, make the best use of it so i really really recommend anything i mean I can't choose really. I'm really happy that I have both of these things uh, in my life and sometimes I feel like using this brush, sometimes I feel like using the Real Techniques one but um, I like this one better because this is softer in uh, application. It doesn't, um, it's not that rash enough. Uh, well, when I use the Real Techniques one, it kind of, uh, I don't know, itches a bit. It's bit uh, harsh but this is really soft in application and beauty blender i i can't i can't ha i don't have any words i'm speaking <laughs> i have no words to describe this beauty blender this is amazing and it's like uh, you always have to use it wet because uh, the dry one doesn't work i can so you can just dab on a little bit like so and you can actually set your makeup and you can feel refreshed i feel refreshed already it's a bit wet now. it just feels so refreshing so all right guys this was the smackdown i really can't um choose between one i love both of these tools a lot and both have done the equally same job on my face as you can see um so i hope you like this random video and if you have any other uh, suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comments down below and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are interested, I will link some other videos down below. And 
आई सी यू गाइस सुन इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय